The Pentagon recently announced it would speed up the delivery of M1 Abrams tanks and Patriot batteries to Ukraine. Patriot is by far the most expensive single weapon system that the United States has supplied to Ukraine. The total cost is probably around $1.1 billion, $400 million for the system and $690 million for the missiles. Since January, 65 Ukrainian soldiers have been training at Fort Sill, a U.S. Army base in Oklahoma, to operate a Patriot air defense system. Traditionally, the instruction course could take months or even a year. However, the Ukrainians graduated far ahead of schedule. The troops are on their way to Europe for additional training on the two Patriot systems. And then Patriot batteries will start their mission to keep Ukraine's sky safe with other air defense weapons like Avenger, NASAMs and Sea Sparrow loaded BUKs. This is Military Mechanics and in this episode we will take a look at the MIM-104 Patriot Air Defense System. Patriot is an acronym for Phased Array Tracking Radar for Intercept on Target, the name given to what was previously known as a SAM-D. This system was developed to replace and supplement the Hawk and Nike Hercules air defense systems of the Cold War era. It was first deployed in the 1980s and quickly became the United States Army's workhorse for air and missile defense. This system also became a key component of U.S. power projection, as well as a premier symbol of U.S. commitment to allies and partners. Patriot systems have four operational functions, communications, command and control, radar surveillance and missile interceptor guidance. It is a modular and mobile system. In less than an hour, a battery-sized element can be installed. The fire control section, that is radar set, engagement control system, antenna mast setup and electric power plant, and launchers are all truck or trailer mounted. The radar and missile launchers are mounted on M860 semi-trailers, which are towed by Oshkosh M983HEMTTs. The heart of the Patriot battery is the fire control section. The ANMPQ-53 or 6565A radar set provides detection and tracking of targets as well as fire control. The phased array radar helps guide interceptors to their targets and is resistant to jamming. The radar detects fighters at a range of 68 to 81 miles, bombers at a range of 99 to 118 miles, missiles at a range of 53 to 62 miles, warhead of the missile at a range of 37 to 43 miles. The ANMSQ-104 engagement control station calculates trajectories for interceptors and controls the launching sequence. It communicates with the launcher stations and other Patriot batteries. It is the only manned station in the Patriot fire unit. The OE349 antenna mast group is the main communications backbone for the Patriot unit. And the EPP3 electric power plant provides the power for the system. The system's missiles are transported and launched from the M901 launching station, which can carry up to four Pac-2 missiles, M904LS with 16 Pac-3 missiles, or M903LS, which can be configured to carry Pac-2, Pac-3, and MSE Sky Scepter missiles in various combinations. The phased array radar set tracks the Patriot missile after it's launched the interceptor missile's active seeker will direct the missile to the target as it approaches. A Pac-2 Patriot missile will detonate near the threat missile, whereas a Pac-3 Patriot missile will attempt to impact the threat ballistic missile's warhead. The Pac-3's radar has improved detection and tracking ranges. It also has better discrimination capabilities. The radar can tell whether an aircraft is manned or not, as well as which of several re-entering ballistic objects is carrying ordnance. 
Additionally, the PAC-3 software ensures that ballistic missiles with chemical warheads or early release submunitions are destroyed at a specific altitude. It has a range of about 24.8 miles, an altitude of 12.4 miles, and can reach speeds of up to Mach 4.1. In recent years, Patriot has received numerous upgrades, including improved interoperability with the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, or THAAD, ballistic missile defenses. Once deployed with a fully trained crew, Patriot will provide a useful capability that will fill some gaps in Ukraine's air defenses and increase Ukraine's capability. And, as Russian officials have already declared, it will become a prime target.